How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I thought I would go ahead and talk to you guys about a product that was sent to me. Um, you know me and oils. I love oils. I do believe they are very important to the skin, especially as we get older. We lose um, a lot of oils from our oil glands and a lot of times our skin uh, gets more dry and dehydrated and um, I feel it's a very important essential in skincare and not only skincare it is very important in your hair care because a lot of times um, you know your scalp can get dry and your follicles like if your scalp gets dry and your follicles aren't uh, in the best working order your hair is not going to grow and you know it's just going to damage your hair you're going to maybe even lose some hair and I just feel a lot of times some oils also can be beneficial to your hair. Um, also, another good thing about some oils, it can help uh, condition your hair more better, give you some uh, more natural uh, shine to it, and help with frizz, which frizziness is a big thing, a, a big thing that I deal with. Like, I did my hair today and washed it and everything, and I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this oil in my hair. Um, but I also do use it on my skin and my face. And well, the oil is jojoba oil. It's a jojoba oil. Hold it this way. There it is, jojoba oil. And it's from Levin Rose is the name of the company. Right there. And it's a nice size bottle. It's uh, four ounces. So as you can see, it's a nice size bottle of jojoba oil. And I have been using it for well over close to, I would say, a month maybe now. I am about right here. So, but a little goes a long way, trust me. Levin Rose is a company, um, I'll give you a little information because I, when a company contacts me, I do like to look up more about them. Um, or if I see something about another, I, I just like to read up more about them. So they were founded in 2013 and it, they actually were founded in Colorado. It was a husband and a wife and, um, their daughter, the husband and wife, the, I hope I pronounced their names right, Lothario and the wife was Francis, Lothario and Francis. Um, they were trying to find a solution for their daughter because she had the uh, keratosis uh, and no matter what they were doing, they couldn't find any help for her keratosis. Keratosis is um, actually a growth that you can get. It, a lot of people, like, like especially like me, if you're fair skin, um, and if you get too much ultra ray violet from the, the, the sun or anything like that, I mean, yeah, it, it can be precancerous. You can you can get a growth, and it will get scaly and scabby. And, you know, it, it is a, of a growth, and um, you know how sun sun the sun damage is really bad on us. I mean, that's what discolors our skin. Um, you know, it can give us the precancerous cells. So they were looking for products that was paraben free. Um, no pe pesticides or anything like that, GMOs or anything like that, and um, you know, like any kind of creams on the shelf, like in the market out there. And when they came across stuff, um, they weren't they were finding that most of the stuff and the ingredients in the products were like kind of unhealthy, like it wasn't you know, no parabens or anything like that. So they were concerned, you know, they wanted to find something that was more natural, more, more better for their daughter. Decided to develop some products. So they work close with farming partners and the farming partners that they work with, they're very p particular with and they uh, partner with a lot of them around the world. And, um, you know, they, they try to find the, the best ingredients that they, they can find. And they're based in Colorado Springs. So that's where they're based at. They're based in Colorado Springs. Um, and there is no worry of over-processed fillers, uh, additives, or any other equally bad things that you wouldn't want in your products. Okay. Now, I'm not getting paid for this. 
I'm not affiliated, nothing, you know. Um, they had actually started, like, I have different play companies that either contact me or some people, like, you know, they'll follow me on Twitter. And when I read about their company, I was kind of intrigued, you know, and like I said, you know me in oils. I was kind of interested anyway. I was thinking about, you know, wanting to try some of their products. This big bottle here is going to last you a very long time. Um, the Ho Jojoba oil, yeah, it's a four ounce, it is a four ounce bottle. It's $13.97. According to their site here, it says, um, keeping the oil from getting too hot is extremely important because if jojoba oil gets hot, certain properties of the oil are lost, leaving a much less effective and beneficial, obviously, for you. The jojoba oil is unrefined and it le leaving the essential oils and uh, fatty acids in the oil. So here's some of the oil uses that they say that they that is good for jojoba oil. Um, eyes and face to remove makeup. Um, face as a moisturizer. Yes, I have been using this as a moisturizer for my face. Mostly in the evening time because you know me, I do prefer to wear and put on an oil more at night time. But I'll be honest, I have used it a couple times during the daytime and I didn't really have a problem with it. I didn't have it feeling too greasy, oily, or, or anything. So I really didn't have a problem with actually using the jojoba oil as my uh, face moisturizer. It, it was not bad. You can use it as massage oil. You, uh, soften the hands and feet, which I have done a lot to my hands and everything. I guess I never really thought about my feet because my feet do need some extra attention, but yes, it does um, soften up the hands and everything. Uh, dry scalp, which as I was saying to you, uh, dry frizzy hair and split ends. Uh, yes, I have used it for my hair for the frizziness or anything like that. Just took a little bit, rubbed it and kind of worked it in, which I'll do a little bit of that here. Uh, dry or chapped lips. I actually haven't tried that one yet, um, but that sounds like a good thing. I like there is no scent to it, so don't worry about like ugh. You know, there was there is not nothing. There's no scent to it. Nothing at all. It's nothingness. If that, if that makes sense. Cuticles. Yes, I have been using it a lot of my cuticles, and it has been doing pretty good for my cuticles, like actually uh, making them look much better than what they used to, so yes. Um, acne, I have heard about that um, from different people that suffer from acne, that jojoba oil is the way to go if you are suffering from acne. So don't be afraid of oil if you have acne pro skin, you know, if anything, I always say, and I point to somebody, you know, when they're first doing oil, do 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 it at night. Try it at nighttime, like before you go to bed. Like, get do your skincare, add the oil into there. You can add a few drops into your moisturizer. Uh, beards. I have heard people doing that for their beards to soften it up, so it's not so straw feeling like, you know, like a straw. You know, a beard. Some some of them can feel like, so it makes it more soft. Uh, stretch marks. I've actually heard that about jojoba oil for stretch marks. Um, honestly, because like I do use a variety of skincare, so I can't say because I had I do have acne scarring, but I use several different skincare, so I can't say you know. I mean, like, do I feel the jojoba oil uh, adds? more moisture to my skin. Yes, I do feel it adds more moisture and I do believe it helps my pores in for my skin. I do believe this has been helping my pores for my skin. Those are some of the things that um, the oil uh, uses can be for. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm not getting paid for this or anything. They sent me the product for free. That's what they did. They sent me the product for free to give it a try to see what I think about it, what I thought about it and give my opinion on it. My honest opinion of this product, I feel, is it is a good product. I mean, of course, there's other companies out there. You might find something cheaper. I don't know. Um, I would always say do your research and see, you know, the ingredients in the other one compared to this one. 
What gets me with this one is it did come from a, uh, sometimes I do like, I have to admit, sometimes I do like going for the companies that like started out like this one here, like just something small, like just a mother and father trying to find um, something for their daughter for her skin. This doesn't feel like greasy and it doesn't feel heavy. Um, I'll show you here. And it does have a dropper, it does have a nice, um, you know, dropper and everything. So now I'm going to put a couple drops on my hand. All right. <laughs> I don't want it to dribble on me, but there it is there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and massage that into my hand. This just penetrates so well in your skin. That's the word I'm looking for. Penetrates so well into the skin. I really like it. Okay, so there is my hand compared to this hand needs a little extra love and but you know you can see the shine or whatever from the oil but it's not greasy. I don't know how to explain it but it's not greasy. So all right I'm gonna put a few drops in my hands up here. And we're going to go ahead and work a little bit in my hair because um, my hair does get, it's, I did get it trimmed and cut up. Well, I did get it cut. I shouldn't say trim. It needs colored still, but uh, it needed cut pretty bad because it was just getting pretty bad. But I'm going to put a couple drops. All right, maybe one more. And I'm going to massage it into my hand. And then I'm going to go ahead. This is what I usually do when, you know, I'm putting a product in my hair, like something like this. Um, you know, I don't like to put too much because you don't want like oil galore, you know, obviously. <laughs> but, you know, it does. It helps your hair out and it feels so nice in my hair my hair even feels much better all right now look at that seriously i mean like look at that compared to <laughs> look at this side do you see some of that sticking up there and then you let's see Do you see what I mean? Like, look at my hair. And then you look at this side. Can you see what I'm talking about? I don't know if you can or not. So we're gonna do this side. This side, that side needs a, a little something, something. So we're gonna put our three drops in that one. And again, I'm gonna work all around I still like to keep my curls, but we put a curl cream in it earlier is what I did, which another thing that's good massaging your scalp when you do an oil sometimes, <laughs> yes, because then it brings the circulation and really works for your cuticles. So. There we go. Look at that. And then look at my curls on top of it all. Look at that. What? Seriously. <laughs> that. See, that's. Jojoba oil is so good for so many different things. This product here, I would recommend. I think it is a wonderful product. And I am going to continue looking more into and getting more of their oils. And I'm going to tell you the other oils that they have, but this, I really do enjoy it. I would recommend it. Up to you if you want to give it a try, obviously. I mean, I'm not going to force anybody to twist their arms, but I will put a link to their uh, place down below. You can look at all the products that are there. And we're going to go ahead and talk about the products they do have. 
Uh, they do have argan oil. I think they have two different sizes of argan oil. So they do sell argan oil. So if you're an argan oil lover, they do have some there. They do have a beard balm and conditioner. So if you have a boyfriend, fiance, husband, and they have a beard, maybe let them try something like that. You know, get their beard all feeling nice and soft and conditioned. Uh, they also have the beard oil. I guess beard oil is like a popular thing. I've thought about getting my husband to try beard oil because he does grow, grow a beard, grab. He does grow a beard, um, but uh, he does shave it at some point too. But when he does get the beard, I thought that would be good, you know, so that it, you know, got more softer. The jojoba oil that I showed you, which is $13.97, like I said. Then they have a pomegranate seed oil. I'll have to look more into what pomegranate seed oil would do. Okay, so then they have pure, uh, pure amu oil. I'm not sure what amu oil is. Again, I'm gonna do some research on stuff like that because I don't really know a whole lot about some of these other products. I did do research more on jojoba oil. Um, then there's rose hip oil, which I always hear uh, Sharon Sharon, what in the heck's your last name? Is it Gephardt? Get her? Oh my God. Okay, well, Sharon, <laughs> our beautiful little uh, Sharon out there. I um, can't think of your last name, Sharon. Uh, rose hip oil. She seems to love rose hip oil and has said immensely a lot of good things about rose hip oil. Definitely would like to try rose hip oil from them. The other one is, uh, is it Tamanu? Temenu or oil. I don't know. I'll ha again have to read up on that. You guys might know already what some of these oils do do or what they're for. And then there's uh, watercress oil. Again, you know, not sure, but like there is a lot of different kind of oils there that they have. And it does explain on there for what they do do. They do do. But you know, it does explain on there what they do 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 for you. Um, the other thing I liked on there is they give you some recipes, um, such as like if you, like for a hair mask, a face mask, or something with their oils. So on their site, they do have um, some recipe ideas that you can use with natural things, you know, ingredients, maybe fruits, whatever, that you have in your kitchen, and you can add this oil in it and make your own concoction or whatever you want to call it. So I have a good feeling about this company, guys, and not on here trying to like really whatever but i just have a good feeling about this company they you know it they seem pretty pretty well uh organized and i like the idea of the ingredients in the products but not only just that like the price point and um they are on facebook and twitter so if you'd like to follow them and just you know check more into them and everything um I will put all the links down below and sometimes they do have a good sale going on so uh, definitely put your email down for you know a newsletter or something like that and they'll keep you in the uh, fix in there to, to, to let you know what um, what new products maybe are coming out or what sale they have going on so okay beauties thanks so much for joining me I really appreciate it um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. It would help me out a lot. Lighting went there. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would so love to have you. You can come and join me each week. Um, I do a video each week or try to do a video each week. So. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you all take care, and I will see you then. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.